O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? St. Paul, in saying those words, is quoting from the prophet Hosea. Let's look back at the source. Now, there are many translations of that passage from Hosea, and some seem to say the opposite. But this apparently is what is going on. The Lord is really letting the Jews have it. And let's get the context. Um, Where now is your king, he says to the Israelites, that he may save you in all your cities and your judges of whom you requested, give me a king and princes. I gave you a king in my anger and took him away in my wrath. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up. His sin is stored up. That's the northern kingdom, Israel. The pains of childbirth come upon him. He is not a wise son, for it is not the time that he should delay at the opening of the womb. Shall I ransom them from the power of Sheol? Sheol is the pit. Sheol is death. Sheol is a kind of underworld, a sort of quasi-hell. God says, shall I ransom them from the power of Sheol? Shall I redeem them from death? O death, where are your thorns? O Sheol, where is your sting? Compassion will be hidden from my sight. In that context, it is God the Father calling upon and invoking the sting of death, the power of the grave as a reward and a recompense for the faithlessness of his people, Israel. In St. Paul, it is the Christian mocking the very death that we are due for our sins. The sins having now been paid, our souls now redeemed, we can say, O grave, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? And then there's that whole section about this body is but a kind of seed which will die so that the plant itself, the resurrected body made for heaven and not made for the earth of the second Adam, not of the first Adam, not of the old man, Adam, the old sinner, but the new man, Christ, the new creation. That is the transformation that we are undergoing. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Again, that's either pie in the sky nonsense, or that's the most incredible source of joy, which echoes through our culture in things like the you catastrophe, as Tolkien called it in fairy stories. It's the joy that we have a sense of when a child is born. It's a joy that can strike us in certain great works of art or music. It's a joy that is the hint of the final victory, which is more than a victory. It is a death and a rebirth.